Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Using chicken stock is the preferred method when you're making the soup, but just to prove that it can be done, we're going to fill this up with water and go with Noor's Chicken Bouillon. Just a few tablespoons of this will make it taste all right. Make sure you give it a good whisk and set your heat on high. Now, vegetables. We've got broccoli, we've got celery stock, we've got an onion, and some carrot. Just to show you how we chop up the broccoli, real simply, just start removing the head pieces like so. Once you've got all that accomplished, you can throw it into a food processor so you can start chopping this up real fine like. Add some celery. And the carrots. Now, I don't know about you, but I like my soup chunky. So I'm not going to puree the vegetables. I'm going to pulse it until I get it to my desired consistency. Just like that. Chunky. Now, just add it to the stock. Make sure you give it a real good stir. Your heat should be on medium from here on out while we get the rest of it going. Chop up this onion. Nice and fine pieces. And we're going to add that to some butter in a hot pan. And we're going to saute this for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you can see I'm getting some color, but I want to add this sugar to help it caramelize. Give this a good toss. And we're going to let it sit for a few more minutes so it can caramelize. And turn into this. Now, this is when we add our flour. I'm going to stir that in as well. Make sure it's even. I don't want any pockets of flour in our soup. But this is going to act as a thickening agent. We're going to add our cream. And that flour is going to help it reduce and thicken up quicker than you believe. see it's already getting thick and as soon as it turns pasty like this you're gonna go ahead and add it to the rest of the soup once again we're stirring make sure you get it all incorporated now this is a good time to sneak in close so you can see my pepper just add some pepper don't worry about the salt because the bouillon flavor will take care of that. Now the bread bowl is simple. Turn it upside down and cut all the way around the edges. When you make it all the way around, take your fingers underneath to the center and just pop it out. No big deal. Now, we're going to toast it in the oven. I put it on a high broil and I watch it real close so I don't burn it. And it comes out just like that. Nice. Start adding our soup. See, that's beautiful. You can't deny that doesn't look delicious. I like a little 
mild cheddar cheese over the top of it. And there you have it, cream of broccoli soup right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.